friend. Say it with me. Home friend. Wait, I'm the one who says that to you. Say it okay. with me. Welcome to uh, slapping it with uh, Andrew Holmgren. That's it. I got his name right this time. Um, here on the show, we're going to be talking to this guy, uh, Andrew Holmgren. <laughs> and uh, we're going to uh, ask him some questions. How are you doing today, this evening? I'm, I'm doing all right. Um, sober, unfortunately. but uh, Well, we'll change that. No, I can't. I'm on antibiotics. Oh, um, man. What'd you get? Uh, I could, you, you guys don't want to hear about my process. Okay, right so now. never mind. Never mind. Um, inform the audience if they don't know uh, anything about you. Uh, explain yourself. Uh, well, I got this long hair, and um, I really like shaking it in front of big fans. That's pretty <laughs> awesome, like a white snake video. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I feel like, um, you know, if I was born in the right era, I could have kind of invented that whole thing. But uh, you can still be a revolutionary, though. Yeah, no, I could, I'll figure out a way. Yeah. This is gonna be, is there any, uh, got any couples here tonight? Couples. Right here. Right here. Right here. Oh, San Francisco and grew up in Menlo Park. Okay. Which is okay. Where a bunch of rich shitheads live. Have you have you been up here before? I'm... Yeah, yeah. I was at Shits and Giggles. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool. That was fun. Um, how did you feel about the Savage Energy people? They were great. It was a great festival. Uh, I really remember I got a turkey sandwich on a croissant. It oh. was a Vietnamese sandwich, and that just blew my mind. It's a Vietnamese turkey. No, it was just regular turkey, but it's like the Vietnamese sandwiches that have like carrots. And okay. All right. I feel uh, from. Uh, Don's Donuts. Yeah, uh, that was Shout the out one. to Don's Donuts and their uh, their Vietnamese sandwiches. Uh, I went in for the donuts. Came out with the sandwich. I know. Did you try the buttermilk, old-fashioned buttermilk donut? No, I just had the sandwich. Oh, oh man. man. I'll go back, though. Oh, dude. Just fucking just this excellent donut. And it's just like old donuts, you know? But it doesn't taste like an old donut. But it says old donut, and I didn't know how I felt about it at first. You mean like a stale donut? No, they're fucking creamy as shit. They're kind of oh. crunchy at first. But it tastes like buttermilk. Like crunchy cream. Uh, yeah, like crunchy cream. I felt like very briefly, it, you know, it didn't really work out, but uh, the situation just wasn't going to allow it, but it was still kind of sad. I fell in love with my uh, med student doctor at the free clinic, and uh, yeah, it just wasn't going to work. I'm like sitting in this room waiting on this intern to come in, I'm expecting some like nerdy skittish dude, and then beautiful Indian, like the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my entire life comes into the room, totally caught off guard, completely her eyes, instantly forgot all my medical problems, not sure if that was the point, but it's a wonderful healing technique, I get that. You know, so I'm trying to like, I'm like fumbling with my words, kind of nervous, trying to like establish some sort of connection in this situation that's totally unnatural. And meanwhile, she's just asking me my medical problems at this free clinic for the uninsured. It's like, oh man, that's kind of good luck. You know, so I'll be like, oh, so what do you like to do for fun when you're not here? And she cuts me off. She's like, so you had chlamydia how many months ago? And it's like, <laughs> and so I'm like, I'm like, well, I guess I could play this off. I could be like, well, oh, well, that, you must have the wrong chart. You go, you gotta go find my chart. That's, that's the problem. So I was like, no, I don't want to start up this relationship with lies. So it's five months. Uh, yeah, so obviously they didn't really work out too well, but uh, a little did get my nuts touched. So, yeah, I think I came out on top there, right? No medical insurance, got my nuts touched. Beautiful woman. Uh, Have you ever been in fear of your life after telling a joke? After telling a joke? No, I don't, I don't think so. Um, I've feared for other people's lives because they were like really old, but... <laughs> just the people watching just old yeah, shit. Yeah, I was like, oh man, she's close. <laughs> <laughs> she keeps laughing hard enough. If I drop this punchline, she might die of laughter or, you know, disgust. 
So um, you live at the Sylvan House also, right? I do. I'm on the lease. I'm one of the unlucky. Oh, you're one of the unlucky leaseholders. You're the guy that they're gonna fucking. Uh, yeah. What's that like? Uh, what, what's a day in the life there like? Um. Well, people would like to believe that a day in the life there is we like wake up and then like tie off and then just kind of float around, but. I don't know, like, it's, you know, I mean, yeah, there's, like, athletes foot of plenty, and sometimes there's poop on the toilet seat and whatnot, <laughs> and <laughs> pentagrams on the kitchen floor, but... <laughs> do, you have to, do you wear uh, shower shoes? Oh, hell no, that's for pussies. Oh, yeah, well, you just, yeah, hey, man, we're keeping it real on this one. Uh, so what do we go with uh, slapping it uh, here at the uh, Savage Henry uh, World Headquarters here Slap, in slapping. beautiful downtown Arcata, California. World Headquarters. World Headquarters, right next to the William McKinley statue. Did you see that? Have you been around the plaza yet? Did the, you mean the big square there? Yeah, and it's got the statue right there, William McKinley. Oh, yeah, like that guy was an OG. 832nd president or something like that. That's uh, a lot of presidents. I know, that, I know that he was the last president to serve in uh, the Civil War. Okay. And he was, I believe he Is was... he on the side of the North? Yes, I believe so, yes. Because he's from uh, New York, I think. Okay. But... I know he may he was the only president who was assassinated purely for political reasons. What was the reason? Um, the guy who uh, Leon, oh, what is his name? Uh, he was a he was an anarchist, and you know I guess anarchists and so the political reason was that he doesn't like government. Exactly, and he was an um, immigrant from uh, Czechoslovakia. Oh, was so that even a place back then? So check yourself. Yeah, before you wreck yourself, William McKinley. And you fucking ass got smoked. Dude. And now you get a statue. Yeah, now you get a statue on in the Arcata Plaza. I think uh, he came out on top there. Here in beautiful downtown Arcata, California. Yeah, I mean, headquarters. there could be worse places he could be. And they're constantly, like, putting bongs in his hands and stuff. And, nice. Like, decorating them and stuff. Um, the official party president. He is the official party president. Here, right outside the Savage Henry World Headquarters here in beautiful downtown Arcata, California. Did I, have I said that enough? Yeah. Okay, uh, I fulfilled good. my the obligation. Okay. By the way, that's the secret, guys. Uh, like, I go to, you go to these, like, fancy doctors. They're like, oh, I'm a fancy doctor, and I went to medical school, and I, I've got this great job, and I can afford to buy stuff, or whatever. It's like, yeah, well, you're still going to have to touch my nuts, all right? <laughs> that's the key. Regardless of your problem, they're like, we're going to fuck your wallet. Yeah, well, you're going to have to play with my balls if you want to do that. <laughs> oh, what seems to be the problem, Andrew? Well, I got this ear infection, and I'm going to get you lower back. Uh, oh, yeah, also touch these nuts, all right. <laughs> do you remember uh, the first time you ever got drunk? Uh, yeah, I do. At first, oh, man. So, um, so in uh, high school, my friends used to, like, I, I said, like, I wasn't doing it. We would, like, steal, like, liquor from the Safeway. Okay. We'd go in and, like, put Grey Goose bottles in our pants and just walk out. And um, they were getting drunk before I was, but we had this party, and that was the first time I got drunk, and I had, like, two vodka drinks and then, like, three whiskey drinks and then, drinking like Bailey's. Just it was just, it was a bad scene. It was just one of those Chumbawamba parties, dude, like straight yeah. up. Yeah, oh yeah, pissing the night away out <laughs> yeah. of my mouth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know how that one goes. I mean, I've never been drunk, but I heard it's Never, cool. yeah. Yeah. I was... Drunk, I like being drunk, but then yeah, so we got caught, and so then all my friends' parents just assumed that I was the big alcoholic of our friends, even though it was my first time drinking. It happens like that. And yeah, then I had like driver's that. ed the next day, and we watched Red Asphalt, the one with all the brains oh, scattered. Oh, sweet. Yeah, so. Sweet, great movie i'll great never film. have a worse hangover than that no well you know the first one everyone tells me is the worst i don't know what do you do to cure a hangover do you have like a just smoke some weed man just rocking the ganj yeah pretty much just, there's nothing better like you can delay it with more of booze but um some people i know some people are a big fan of rocking a booch like drinking a kombucha and okay fucking just hippies. yeah it's fucking hippies dude Put on your everywhere. Jesus, sandals. jesus christ i forgot about hippies man i'm fucking stressed the fuck out about it now um, a lot of hippies out there. Oh my God! Well, I don't know what a hippie is anyway. So uh, here in beautiful downtown Arcata. <laughs> here in beautiful downtown Arcata, California. All right. Well, we'll see you guys. Uh, I've, had a, I've had a lot of fun here tonight, and um, just, uh, just recently purchased some new marijuana. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I'm really excited to probably so smoke some of it real soon here. But uh, here's the thing, you guys. Uh, I refer to this weed as the Quran. And, uh, that's because when you light it on fire, you get stoned. <laughs> yeah, okay, right? Obviously, the most angry is fun. Right? But uh, here's the thing I said that at a show a couple months ago.
go. Santa Cruz, California, real hippie happy town. They like to think they're hippies. They're really just pussies. But, uh, that comes out of me afterwards. Like, I'm none too pleased. And he's like, hey, man, I'm an intellectual Muslim. And I have a problem with your joke. And I was like, all right, first of all, religion aside, if you hold a grudge over a joke at a comedy show, don't try to tell me you're an intellectual. <laughs> Right, but, uh, you know, I talked it out with him. Uh, we're cool. Uh, I even ended up giving him the first hit off my pipe. And, uh, you know, as he goes to let him, I started throwing rocks at him. I'm like, you get the joke now, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, do you remember the first time you got high? Uh, yeah, the first time I got high. Um, so my school had this campaign at the end of every school year. They'd give out these free bowling passes. It was by the sheriff's department. It was the Say No to Drugs, Say <laughs> yeah. Yes to Bowling campaign. Yeah. And so one time we went in. And uh, they closed at like four for that promotion. It was like three forty-five. But we're like, hey, we want to bowl, and they're like, no, that's done for the day. And we're like, no, come on, it's we're allowed to bowl. And then uh, they said no, so we're like, all right, well, if we can't go bowling, we're gonna say yes to drugs. Yeah. So we went and smoked drugs at this uh, kid's house, and we ended up stealing a box kite from his garage. And do you think they realized that like? Uh, say no to drugs and yes to bowling. Like, do you think they realized that like you can smoke a bowl? Like, do you think they made that connection? Was that funny, Chris Durant? Say, that, say, you... say yes to bowls, then yes, yes to bowling? Yes, exactly. I, I mean, is think... marijuana really a drug? Like, I mean... No. It, no. No. It's not because I say it's not. Is that is that how you say it? Marijuana, Chris Durant? Okay, marijuana. Um, I just heard about that. Mar- yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm just learning all this new shit. You said marijuana? Marijuana. Uh, what are some... Uh, do you know uh, other nicknames for it? Like uh, uh, the The good stuff? Okay. Uh, uh, let's see. There's a uh, tomato spinach. Tomato spinach, that sounds delicious. I actually, I, I eat that a lot because I'm, I'm very poor. <laughs> <laughs> um, sweet. Uh, do you have anything big coming up? Um, yeah, be in uh, the San Francisco Sketch Fest in January. Oh shit, that's February. a big deal, right? Yeah, like, it should be fun. Sweet. Just uh, telling these jokes. How do you get into something like that? Like you send them twenty five dollars and a picture of yourself. Twenty five bucks, man. Do they pay you? Like if no, you they don't pay you. But there's like parties and stuff with free okay. booze. Okay. Okay. So the trick is to drink as much booze to make up for your twenty five bucks. Okay. Okay. Which is um, so you're doing the sketch fest. Uh, uh, let me think. I'm just. Oh yes. Uh, do you have a Twitter? I do. I'm uh, Andrew underscore Holmgren. Very creative. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you got to keep it real. Yeah. Um, do you have? Do you read a lot of magazines? Only Savage Henry. Ah, it's pretty much. It's the West Coast Humor Magazine. It Where is. Can you go wrong. It is the West Coast Humor Magazine. Um, have you ever written for the magazine? Yeah, yeah. But being the most recent one coming out, the old time. The old time. And I wrote for the Money Issue. Oh, nice, nice. Um, so uh, be sure to watch out. Uh, when does the uh, between the 13th and the 21st. Between the 13th and the 21st of uh, the beautiful... Of whatever month you're watching. Of whatever this. month you're watching this in. Stay it tuned. was in December of this month, this year, um, which is right now. Uh, you really need to come up with a time machine because this guy... You're, you're going to be at the show tonight, I'll be right? at you're the show tonight after I ate all this pizza. We're going to... Whoa, dude. There's going to be so much pizza eating and, like, fucking uh, stuff. You and guys missed it because you weren't here in the you past. You weren't here in the past. Sucks to be you. Uh, this has been slapping it up and down, straight up and down. Uh, thank you for being on the show. And uh, remember to uh, brush your teeth and read your 700 before you go to sleep. Straight up. Bye.